and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are back with another video now I'm trying to pump these videos out as best I can now I've been searching over the internet over the last couple of days and I've stumbled across a couple of independent games now these are games that are worth your attention as well as mine now in this video I'm going to describe a little bit about them and you're going to watch a bit of gameplay or trailer in the background so you can get a clearer idea of what's actually going on now first of all we're going to start with Pray for the Gods. Now you may have seen a trailer already for this, this was released I think last year for E3. But basically Pray for Gods is an extreme adventure where players are sent to a desolate frozen island to uncover the mystery behind the never ending winter. You must defeat enormous monsters that defend the territory. So it's, it's hugely based on Shadow of the Colossus. So if you are a fan of this game, this sounds like a game for you. Now to cure that itch that you've already had with Shadow of the Colossus, you've probably all completed it within the day because you've already played before. But definitely this is a game for you. In Pray for the Gods, you must choose your battles and more importantly, how you fight them. Traverse through dynamic snow terrain and explore mysterious temples that may contain hidden secrets and treasures. You must also scavenge to survive, so there is a lot of material I'm assuming that you'll need to take down certain giants and monsters and stuff like this. Obviously, not having played Shadow of the Colossus before, I don't really have a clear picture of how the game is going to be. I've just got a basic, like, what I can see from trailers and go from there sort of thing but definitely this sounds like a game for Shadow of the Colossus fans which is absolutely fantastic because you know who doesn't love taking down gigantic monsters and feeling the satisfying victory over them they also said that you will not be just swinging a sword at the feet of these beasts so you will have ranged weapons as well and they are incorporating a sort of getting up close and personal uh, mechanic into it so you will be climbing up them somehow I don't know how it's going to work because I'm sure in the Shadow of Colossus you actually climb the Colossus or the Colossi I don't know what it is for the plural but um, you, you climb them whereas this one looks more like you have to scale buildings and there's kind of like a little tightrope thing that you have to fire and latch onto and sort of thing like that so definitely this is worth your time and attention Next up we have Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Now this game is a tactical adventure game which blends the turn based combat with real time exploration on a ruined post human earth. So it's similar to what probably XCOM is and a bit of Fallout series. I mean I will leave the link to the website in the description down below so you are more than welcome to go check it out on there. There is more information, there's layouts. Um, battle combat, um, exploration, all that sort of stuff is explained on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go briefly over it now. So the world as we know it has completely changed. There have been many causes for the Earth's decay. For starters, there was a nuclear war, then climate change, a pandemic, and possibly an economic crisis. With humanity finally off the board, mutants have stepped in to take over. Although I'm not really a fan of XCOM or the Fallout series, the concept sounds intriguing to me. Plus it has that post-apocalyptic 80s soundtrack which is literally music to my ears. This game is available on all platforms and should be out during the end of the year. Now there's obviously been no release date confirmed for this yet but it will be out sometime this year. It may even get moved back depending. It does look very intriguing to me and I know a couple of people who, who do enjoy XCOM and the Fallout series so this may be something new, worth your time and attention. So go check it out for yourselves, obviously I'll leave the website down below. Next up we have Ghost of a Tale. Now this game is actually currently out now. It came out a two days ago actually. Uh, it did come out last year for a like a uh, early access sort of thing on Steam. This game isn't out on console just yet, but it is out on Steam now. So if you are interested in something like this, go purchase it now. So Ghost 
of a tale is set in a medieval world inhabited by several species of human-like animals that include mice, rats, frogs, crabs and spiders and so on. You play as a little mouse named Tilo, who is a minstrel. No, not the delicious sweets that you can buy from the shops, but a medieval musician and singer. As Tilo, you must be stealthy and cunning to find your way out of dungeons and a land full of danger while uncovering secrets and mysteries of the past. Now, the game absolutely looks stunning. Like, there's so much detail in the walls and the environments. Now, if this is something you, you are very interested in, it's a very stealthy game. It's probably a bit like um, Sticks on the console. I've never actually played it, but I'm not really a stealthy kind of guy, but the game like roped me in with its absolutely beautiful environments. And because it's powered by Unity, which is an absolutely beautiful dynamic sort of software, if you haven't found out about it yet, please go and look it up because it looks incredible. The detail on some of the environments is mm, wow, beautiful. And lastly, we have Scavengers, which is a survival shooter cooperative where teams of players compete while engaging in PvE combat. So they're incorporating a PvP and PvE in the same dynamic. I'm sure there are other games out there that do this already. I'm pretty sure there is. If not, there will be more. But definitely, it sounds like something I'd be interested in. I'm not really a PvP kind of guy, but it sounds very interesting and I'll tell you why. The setting for the scavengers takes place in a not so distant future in a winterfied world where a cataclysmic event has led to the new ice age. Now that sounds pretty, ooh, you know, like good story there. It, they've kind of based it off a thriller. Now there will be a lot of suspense I assume and a lot of mystery in this game. There is also a mysterious disease that has spread through the world infecting all life. So it has created some sort of nightmarish mutated life forms. And some of these look absolutely beastly. I mean, obviously they're only drawings at the moment, but once they've rendered them and brought them up to a standard that is quite high, I can imagine these being quite terrifying. There will also be an AI that you will need to fight together as well as defend against other players. And the game has a very smart AI and a more dynamic playground, which would be the most challenging part of the game. Now, it sounds great to me, like any kind of post-apocalyptic kind of game. So this, of course, brings us to the end of the video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to share the video and hit that bell if you do want to see more from me. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care of yourself and others and bye bye for now.